Welcome back to the Chanceman Ultras YouTube channel. I'm Richard Hall having a look at the morning papers and we should start really with the games last night. There was a fantastic match. Uh, one of the best of the season in my opinion. Um, Napoli against Lazio at San Paolo or the Dia Armando Maradona Stadium uh, where talking of Maradona, Insigne managed to surpass Diego's goal record with 83 goals Gazetta says he beats Diego's. Uh, Mertens matches a record of 102 and it ends 5-2 to Napoli. Gattuso can smile. They were on fire at points. I mean, some of the goals that were scored were incredible. You look at Mertens, you look at Insigne, they were just to, to die for last night. Great strike from Malinkovic Savic. Great strike from um, Chiru Immobile. Looked like they might give him some hope, put it back to 4-2. But it ended uh, with a win for uh, the Potter of Earth, which is a, a fantastic result for them. Really, really was a good advert for City Art, especially after the week we've had when we've talked about clubs being in Super Leagues and all of this. This was a super game by two super teams. And really, if you haven't seen the highlights of it, um, you, you have to see it. I mean, <laughs> Tuto Sport here, you can see the headline at the very top there. Napoli, what a show. Um, it really was. It was absolutely brilliant. It's here in Tuto Sport, they said, uh, um, well, I'll talk about uh, Atalanta in a second, but it said uh, Insigne a brace, Platano Mertens, and Ossie Men flatten Lazio. Yoga Tiso still managed two from the Champions League zone, but if they can continue like that, it looks on. So that's going to be really, really uh, a spectacular finish to the season, as we predicted. Um, and Napoli certainly look to be chasing those Champions League places down. Other teams in action for Champions League places, of course, were Atalanta. And Roma, Atalanta fan, play, were playing fantastic. Um, one nil up against Roma, a man sent off, and it ended up in one one. It was a it was a good game actually. Um, both teams could have made a little bit more. It says here in Gazeta, Gazeta um, Atalanta was so wasteful. Roma rescue a point. Um, Malinowski and Cristante. Cristante's low drive uh, being the equaliser. Gasp Gasparini said there was too many errors. And there is no chance of second place. Uh, Atalanta again last night, showing that if they had have um, just converted a couple more chances, yeah, that could have ended. I don't know, could have been three 0 at half time, for instance. But it wasn't, and they've drawn now. So it's uh, that's how we go with Ladea. Um, yeah, Tuto Sport again, wasteful. Um, so back to Gazetta, and we have, of course. Two things here, Ibrahimovic and Cristiano Ronaldo. So, yeah, nice headline this. Ibra Pataco Diablo, uh, Ibra packed with the devil, obviously, uh, Milan. He signs uh, the Milan renewal agreement until 2022. He will earn 7 million. <clears throat> this is my home. He said, I'd like to stay for life. Well, I don't know how long more you've got playing, but still, you know, if he keeps on the way he has been this season, it could be quite a bit, a uh, bit more. Um... Again, here we talk then about Cristiano Ronaldo. There is a headline that says, Lo United Tennis CR7, or CR7, um, contact between his manager, Mendes, and Manchester United. But he would have to cut his wages to go back to Manchester. Um, would he be prepared to do that? Who knows? It, we're not quite sure how this uh, whole project at Juventus is going, so that could be one to watch. But if United fans, I wouldn't get too many hopes up um, because there's also, of course, Real Madrid who would be sniffing around. Uh, Coriel does sport, uh, also talks about um, it's Milan until 2022 for Ibrahimovic. Nothing of uh, Ronaldo in there. Um, but we see here that uh, it says under fire in a, uh, let's have just have a look here. You can see the picture of Ronaldo and Agnelli there looking despondent. Um, and this headline under fire, criticised for recent performances. Uh, this is uh, obviously Ronaldo. Uh, new accusations towards Andrea um, Serafin from UEFA saying that he'd rather be a naive, naive than a liar. And Valdano said he betrayed 200 teams. So lots of criticism from all around Europe for them. And with Ronaldo not firing, it looks as though this whole idea of, you know, this push to the 10 year push, if it must be really, towards this Super League domestic dominance just didn't fall right in Europe. Uh, bringing on Cristiano Ronaldo to sort of be this sort of make them an elite elite club um, getting into the, the Super League the changing of the branding the badge the stadium everything that's behind it just seems to 
fallen at the last hurdle for Juventus, and you know it's going to be interesting to see how they do. Uh, well, if they just even qualify for the Champions League, which we think they will, um, and how they will move on next season with Ronaldo, without Ronaldo, etc. Uh, a little bit on Inter here. Conte, I want clarity. He's minus eight from the Cigaretto. The coach is out in the open. What are Sunning's plans? Risk in the transfer market at zero cost has been the big stars leaving. What a surprise. Antonio Conte, at a really crucial point, when he thinks he's going to win the title, when he has all the power, he's coming out and demanding funds, which is fair enough in this occasion because unlike in other situations where he's already known exactly how the club set out, Sunning's ownership is absolutely up in the air at the moment and nobody knows. So he will want assurances, as he should, as should Beppe Morata, that if he goes into this uh, summer window, they won't be having to sell the likes of Martinez, Lukaku, Barella, Bastoni, etc., and that he will be back to build this team to build a project. Sunning still to confirm if they've got any investors on the go at the moment. Well, that's pretty much it from uh, the headlines today. Uh, if you like this, please you know, give it a like, give it a subscribe. And um, from us, it's ciao for now.